Good morning. So, um, people pleasing and baked beans on rice. That's what we're talking about this morning. Um, it's weekend. Right? We have probably Christmas events, social events. We have our Christmas meal in devices today, actually. Um, and I wanted to talk about something that comes up quite a lot. Like, in fact, let me know in the comments. Is there anything that you struggle with when it comes to this like kind of Christmas time? Because we have to think, oh yeah, it's not a good time to do X, Y, and Z. But this is why we kind of do it, right? For the meals out, the the social events, the time with people, family, friends. And um, the reason I'm bringing this up in terms of baked beans and rice and what this has got to do with anything, it's not a superfood. Well, it is. Baked beans is good. Um, so we were, uh, the Fruit to Fit team, we went to a nutrition conference last weekend and we were chatting. And um, one of the coaches, Jesse, he, um, he doesn't really get, he's from the US, um, he didn't really understand that the baked beans thing. Like, what's our? Why do we put? In, how? Why are we having baked beans for breakfast? Like beans for breakfast. And then when I thought about it, I thought it is quite strange, isn't it, that we have baked beans like beans at breakfast? If I said oh, I dropped some beans at breakfast, but yet we're they're so normal for us. It's so normal for us to think you know baked beans on toast. And he's like, I'd have baked beans with rice. And I was thinking, baked beans and rice. Why would you have baked beans with rice? And when you actually think about it, they're both probably just as normal as each other. Um, but to to us, because we're, we're used to a certain way, or if you're used to a certain thing, then anything other than that will make us go, well, I'm not doing that. That's, that's so out of my comfort zone. That's so out of like what I believe in. And that's that's powerful. And if you translate this to Christmas time, if you always believe it's a hard time to start anything, you'll probably always end up making the same mistakes. The same mistakes being that we wait and wait and wait completely. We don't even think about anything because you can control one thing today. You can still drink lots of water. You can still get some exercise in. You can still up your veg winter. And the problem that we see quite a lot, and there's nothing wrong with starting in January, but are you setting yourself up to put lots of pressure on yourself? Are you setting yourself up to do that? And are you almost giving yourself permission, which is, which is great, but to, well, to some extent, but to, just to self-sabotage? And I would challenge you to do this. Make the choice that you really want to make. Make the choice that makes you happy. So ask this question today. Are you people-pleasing or, or are you making this choice for you? Is this choice for you or is this, am I trying to people-please here to fit in, to to be a part of something because ultimately what's the point of fulfilling someone else what's the point of making someone else happy if you're not making yourself happy and i wanted to give the baked beans example because it's it's such simple things in life everyday life where it just shows how much habits we live our lives by these habits the things we do daily and if you, you only have to you know get in get in your other half's side of the bed and they'll go, they'll be like, how are you doing? What are you doing? Um, park in a different place. Work at someone else's computer um, in your office. Um, sit in a different chair. And people are like, what? Like at the dinner table, you might have your own chair, like the, the space that you normally sit in. Just sit at someone else's, see what they do. Um, yeah, little things. And people can be like, what? Well, and this is the pattern interrupt that we want to create. And if we can apply this to today, like rather than it being the weekend and me thinking, right, I've had a good week, I'm going to treat myself. What about if you just focused on right now and just made the choice that you want to make that makes you happy? Because if we're always trying to fulfill other people, we can't expect to be happy ourselves. And why is it that we have a good week and we feel great? What are the things that we do? Look for the facts. Do you sleep more? Do you exercise more? Do you drink more water? Do you get more vegetables in? That's not to say don't have a meal out. We're going for a meal out today. <laughs> I'm going for two meals out today, actually. I've got, uh, we got our devices, Christmas meal, um, and then an Indian tonight. And that's not to say it's a write-off. I'm going to get a workout in in the morning um, and also just make sure I get lots of water in in the day, vegetables in earlier on in the day. There's still things I can control and actually I'm going to enjoy it. That's And make the choices that I want to make. So I hope that helps this morning. Just a quick one. Have a awesome day. I'm just putting together, actually, a Christmas survival guide. So if you do want that, um, it's going to be going over little tips, little tactics, little things to take that pressure off um, and also think a bit differently about Christmas, but also things that you 
physically can do, practically can do rather, to make everything a bit easier and feel more in control. So if you want that, just type in Christmas below. Um, uh, actually, type in guide below, then I'll know the difference. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Mary. How are we doing? So um, have an awesome day and I'll see you soon. Take care.